Hey there YouTubers, Digger coming at you with a little bit of a Sunday fun day thing. Uh, we're going down to see Monty the Man. Uh, Monty's been a friend of mine since he was about uh, 15 years old or so. And uh, he does some wild stuff. He does things that normal people just don't do with, with vehicles. And uh, you know, this is Digger's custom coach. So we don't just cover party buses, but we cover all kinds of stuff. So we're gonna go down here and take a look at his Pony Boo, which is a Pontiac station wagon. Basically the same thing as a Malibu, but it's the Pontiac version. And he's always just referred to it as the Pony Boo. He's been doing some body work on it. He had a, somebody clipped him in the side a couple years ago, uh, probably been five years ago now. Uh, but uh, somebody clipped him in the side, crushed in a rear quarter panel right at the dog legs. He had to do all that. He's, he's been really working on it, but what I want you guys to see is what's under the hood. Because it is by far completely not what you would expect to see. So uh, it, it's, it's really kind of different. And uh, you know, I like different. I'm driving a 63 Falcon two-door wagon that's painted purple. I like different. Monty does things different. We're gonna introduce you to him and show him or show you guys, you know, what all kinds of crazy stuff he does. And by the way, Walking Dead's coming back. There's my little Lucille. Gotta love that. So we're gonna out here, give Monty a little interview. We'll walk around the car, let him talk about what he's done, what he wants to do and all that kind of stuff. And uh, introduce you guys to Monty the man. He is a uh, he is a different character, we'll say that. But uh, like I say, he does neat things, so let's get him on video and we'll see what kind of fun we can have. So we will talk to you when we get there. So what did you put in it? A 4.1 liter straight six out of a truck. So what did you put in it? A 4.1 liter straight six out of a truck. How long do you think you've had this now? 10 years? No. It's probably been at least eight. Getting close. I'm trying to remember when we About yeah. seven. Yeah. And what, what engine was in it when you got it? Uh, V6? Yeah, the 4.1 uh, V6, four barrel, which was a kind of a rare motor, but it had a noise in it. Yeah. So, so what did you put in it? A 4.1 liter straight six out of a truck. Four. 67 to 72 Chevy truck is what it came out of. It's definitely unusual. It's a torque monster. Blows everybody's <laughs> mind when you see it the first time. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's kind of why I wanted to put it out there and show people what you've done. And it fits in there nice, too. <laughs> yeah, it does. It runs good, too. I mean, I put, right after I did it, I put 20,000 miles on this motor in this car. 20,000 miles on it. That was right after I put it in here. And then I got. I quit driving it was a winter. I bought it in Sonoma. And then uh, I was gonna give this car to my mom and she died, so. And then I got in a wreck in it before that, so I just. Yeah, well, just tell everybody about this uh, little wreck that happened back here. Oh, yeah. And I've got all the pictures of it. We got hit right here. It knocked the rear end out of it, bent the axle and axle tube. So I put a another door on it I had to there's three different cars in that door jam to put that door jam back together <laughs> and you did it pretty good I can tell you it was bad but basically I know that whole that whole dog leg was yeah, crunched from from here to here 
there's three different cars in this section put in here. <laughs> there's this car, and then another car, and then the car I bought another parts car. Well, I that's... that back. And then I made the rocker panel out of a box tube, because you can't buy rocker panels for it. And then the quarter panel came out of a four door car. Uh. And they said it couldn't be done. <laughs> Well, the one thing we've discovered about Monty the man here is if somebody says it can't be done, he's going to make it happen. Yeah. <laughs> and then that, with a four-door car, didn't have the parking light in the quarter panel. So on the other side, I got rid of the parking light to make it match. So this side doesn't have a parking light on it either. But this quarter here is basically almost done. And I started working on this door jam. But, yeah, you guys, this, this one wasn't hit though. No, <laughs> but it had a little bit of rust down there. I had to, I put all new metal in there too. Huh. But the door shut good on it now. It didn't before. And what gears in the back of this thing right now? Right now it's back to a 273. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, okay. Because you did have a. What? That's the second room that I put in it. The you had first, you had like room. a 411 or something in it, it didn't you? It was a 373. Oh, was, was it? Huh. So. And it was killing that motor because it, it, the speedometer said I was doing 65, <laughs> and I was only doing 35. Yeah. But I, I couldn't do it, so I bought. I found this rear end online. Come out with an They didn't go real fast, but they got there quick. Yeah. <laughs> and it would actually spin both rear tires too, <laughs> barely, but it would spin them all day long if you wanted it to. But. Well, I know that there's there's no doubt you could you could definitely walk walk the dog on the uh, Falcon pretty pretty easy right now. <laughs> but yeah. That 373 was just too much, so it's got a back of 273 in it. And I bought that rear end off of a guy on Craigslist. They took it out and they put a 9 inch Ford in an El Camino, and uh, I bought that one for 75 bucks. Huh. But, uh, yeah. Well, just, you, paid, you paid half of what I did for my 8 inch. Yeah. <laughs> and then I sold that rear end that came out of it for 300. It's a mess. Oh, I know. It's a mess. It's, been, it's been sitting for how long? <laughs> um, like four years? Almost five. Almost five years of sitting. Actually kind of a cool little wagon though. Interior's in good shape and it's just dirty. And it's got a lot of parts and tools and stuff in it. Really? It, what year is this? 82. 82 Pontyboo. Yeah, they only made uh, 237 of these in three years. This was an actual woody wagon. They only made... Well, I think that was kind of your attraction of getting it, wasn't it? Yeah, that, but... Because I had a woody wagon, you wanted a woody I've wagon? I always liked the woody wagon, <laughs> but this was a vinyl decal, and it was all peeling off, yeah. and I kind of wanted more of the clean look, so it's it's not going to get the wood grain back on it. Probably not why I owned it, anyway. Yeah. It's just... I can understand it. holds it. a lot of moisture, as you can see on the old fenders. And Yeah, those fenders are not going to get used. No, I've got... Another ones I bought a whole other parts car. He's actually got a got a nice nose cone for it. Oh, that one's gonna be going for sale. Oh, is it? Yeah, I got another one already done. I can eliminate the parking lights in the other one because huh. I wanted to make it match the back. No I always thought that was kind of the neat the neat thing about this is that everybody looks at it and thinks it's a a Malibu, and it's like no, it's a Pontiac. It's a Pontiac. <laughs> but the only difference is is from the doors from road basically where the front end is and the interior is a little bit got more options that's the only difference yeah well pontiacs were a little bit better scale than than uh but yeah Mal, Mal, only malibu doors will work on this it has to come off of a pontiac or malibu but you can't the rear doors are wagon specific you can't use a four-door car door weren't, weren't you going to do something or did you about something about cutting a door frame off and Moving yeah, it to I'm another gonna, door. I've got two other doors that come off of a normal car, and I was going to take the door frames off of the old doors and put on the other doors to have those backups because you can't find them. Right. I, well, I know anytime I find a any kind of Malibu or four door or wagon or anything like that on Facebook Marketplace, I'm letting you know about it. And, and they're worth some money. But I, those two back doors, I found them on Craigslist. A guy had them, and they were his brothers. His brother passed away. And they were big time into these G-Body wagons. And I found them with glass and all, not this glass, because this is my original glass. Um, I got them for, I think, 150 bucks for the pair. Yeah. And uh, 
the uh, he wanted like five hundred for them, and I went there and started talking to me, and I didn't get them for like I was like let's say it was like a hundred and a half for the pair. So do you have any kind of schedule that you're trying to get this done in, or just <laughs> no, just kid, uh, a toy that you play with when you have time? Yeah. <laughs> but I, it's not gonna be perfect. I'm just gonna make a decent looking driver out of it that I could still be, you know. It'll look good to go to car shows and cruise ins with. Yeah. And I can haul all my kids in it. I mean, it'll haul six people legally. So that's mm -hmm. kind of another plus thing about it. Yeah, I haven't done nothing to that gate. I got a few holes I got to weld up on it. So what are you thinking as far as colors or anything like that? No, it's I going mean, white. Okay. I think that'll look good. Kind of helps cover a little bit of body work but at the same time yeah your, your body work usually is is pretty much spot on yeah so. this car was uh pretty rough especially after that wreck yeah um, it realistically it probably shouldn't have been fixed but the car drives too good to just give up on i mean it it you jump in this thing man you get on the highway and it runs 70 mile an hour like it's nothing just cruising and then I put that rear sway bar off of an SS Monte Carlo on it, so it don't sway. Yeah. It holds the turns good. But, I know it's got a beefy look with those wheels and tires on it. Yeah, that, those are brand new. Well, the wheels are brand new. The tires are used. Yeah. yeah I bought those wheels brand new. 15 eighths on the back and uh, 15 uh, six and a half on the front with four and a half inch back space all the way around. It'll be a cool ride when you get it done. Yeah, it just takes time and doing stuff outside is. <laughs> oh, believe me, I know. <laughs> yeah, this is a That's kind of the way we are, though. Do it outside. I've got a lot of good friends. It's a buddy of mine's house. And if it wasn't for him, I wouldn't have gotten this far on it. I've only technically been working on it now pretty constant when I have time other than kids. Two years, maybe. Yeah. But it just, when you got kids and weather's a big issue too, I've got heart problems. So weather makes it hard too. Well, I also changed the zoles too. You remember you said going up the back? How's this got true dolls on it now? Or? They're white off. They're oh, white okay. off, but it's two and a half inch exhaust. <laughs> yeah. It runs good, man. It's a good driving old car. It'll fire up if I wanted. To, if I hooked the battery up, man, it'd fire up right now. Oh, I wouldn't doubt it. it runs like a sewing machine. Hmm. But yeah, it's gonna get a cam swap in it, and uh, I'm gonna do that here while I got the front end off. Hopefully here soon. I just gotta watch the weather. Looks like you're gonna be repainting a new valve cover not too long. Yeah, mm -hmm. but I mean, it's been sitting around now for five years. Yeah. I'm going to retouch up the whole motor. I'd like to take the motor back out completely, but yeah, I get it. Mm -hmm. But yeah, a lot of people see this and they think it's factory in here, but no, they didn't put these in here factory. Well, and that's what kind of makes it cool. <laughs> I mean, I've thought about taking it out and putting something different in it, but man, in a lot of ways, I like these old six cylinders. This ain't my first rodeo and using these motors. I had a 65 Impala that had a 230 in it. Yeah. It was a factory SS car too. And uh, that thing wouldn't die. It was you started using more oil and it did gasoline. That's the only reason I changed the motor in it. <laughs> and then uh, I had a 78 Chevy truck that uh, had some issues and I had another 230 straight six out of something else and I put that 230 straight six in a 78 Chevy truck. Yeah, but those are normal. I mean, it, it, Chevy trucks came with six owners. <coughs> this this is not normal. No. <laughs> and just the idea of taking something that's actually like, you know, ten plus years older than the car. Yeah. Oh, and it was an everyday driver for a lot of years there, until you know, basically the accident. Yeah. I drove it for about two years constantly. And decided that I better quit doing it because of winter time and then weather broke and I got to go out for a cruise and I got basically T-boned in it. So that cost me a lot of money. Well yeah. 
a lot of time. Cost you a lot of tears too. <laughs> yeah, I got a lot of time. I don't have a whole lot of money for saying this. I paid too much for the car, but I paid fifteen hundred for this car when I bought it. Well, yeah, but it was a decent car. Yeah. I mean, it. I mean, it really was. Rode and drove and everything. You can't find these things. Just like your truck, I was there when you bought this. Yeah. You know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but she's been a good one. I don't think she's going anywhere anytime soon. My my oldest daughter wants it, so she <laughs> wants it bad for some reason. Uh oh. Yeah. Well, keep that six owner in it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she don't. She don't need. This month, so. She don't need nothing with the power yet. No. And then my young, my well, middle daughter now was my youngest. She's wanting my big truck, and I've done told her no. <laughs> my big truck got somebody hurt. Right. <laughs> Like, you don't really get somebody hurt. But, yeah, a lot of time, and it's a labor of love. It's kind of a relaxation thing, too. Gets me away from the kids a little bit <laughs> when I can get away from them. Yeah. I love the power of windows in the back, and the actual big windows don't roll down. Remember that? Oh, the, the, on the doors? Yeah, these don't yeah. go down. These are stationary. These are power. Well, well, yeah, they're power wings. Yeah. Yeah, they, the yeah I've got all the brand new door seals for this in the car. I've got the rear quarter extension pieces. Found those, and I think brand new for the car. Uh, I got too much shit. Oh, yeah, I got heavy duty shocks in front of this, too. They can cool springs around the shocks. I got heavy duty wagon springs, like a two inch lift springs in the back of it too. I remember I had this thing slammed at one time. Sort of kind of sounds like a six owner, but it doesn't. Been sitting for about two months. I ain't even started. That's pretty yeah. good. Hook the battery up, crank for a minute, pump gas up, and fire right up. Runs pretty smooth. Well, she's still cold right now. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a rock on cap. I think that's because the hand boat was going in it. But I got another hand for it, so. Look, he had the lifter set. Yeah, it's a little bit bigger than stock, so. Was this engine originally an HEI, or did you add no, that? No, it was originally points. But yeah, it was one of the first things I did after I put the motor in it. Like two days later, that distributor came in, so I changed the distributor. <laughs> put HEI in it, got rid of it. Yeah. But if it wasn't for a lot of good friends, I wouldn't be this one. She's cold right now, too. Yeah. I, I just, the way the car is, man. My favorite thing about it is, is after it's been ran, you come over here, it starts better than a fuel injected car. Jeez. That's what I love about this old car. Starts better than a fuel injected car. The motor didn't make a full revolution and it fires. Mm -hmm. I love it, man. I got to put a brand new carburetor on this thing, dude. The whole hood. Huh. Yeah. So, so you got a different hood, you got two different fenders, and a complete nose. Yep, pretty much. I bought a whole, like I say, I bought a, got a whole other car as a parts car that was sitting for 20 some years. But it wasn't a wagon. Yeah. But it the, had what I needed off of it. So. That was the gold car? Or brownish? Blue. Blue? Oh, Blue okay. and rust. <laughs> 
car sat for. Jeez. Yeah, I got a lot Lucky of your uh, windows are tinted, huh? Yeah. Thank goodness. Got kids' toys and all kinds of stuff. Yep. Whew, it's got a little bit of a, a stenchy in there. <laughs> Don't put that in the video. <laughs> One of these it was all rotted out down through here. I fixed all of it. I think it was on. I think I can't tell which side it was. <laughs> but one of these was gone. It was gone here, here. It was either one side or the other, but you can't tell now. Yeah. But I should have known when that was gone that I the, that hood was too far gone. But well, you can actually see right here. Look how thin that metal is right there. There's actually pinholes right there. Huh. Kind of really hard to see, but yeah. Huh. But yeah, I put that rhino or that rhino liner stuff on the underside of it. But then I had to start a whole other hood. That was the hood I was going to put on it, and it ended up being too too bad a shape. So. Yeah. Yeah, these spots are spots I still gotta go back over and address. That's why I mark them. Oh, they'll all get sanded off. But. I just hope that painting it white, sometimes you have to really sand that it'll stuff off be because it will bleed be right gone. back through. It'll all be gone. It'll all be gone. I forget which car it was, but I painted something and yeah. I didn't get it all cleaned off and you can <laughs> still see it after the fact. Well, I still got to sand all this back down on all these spots, and it'll be back down basically bare metal and bondo before I put any more filler in it. So. Yeah. <coughs> so there won't be no evidence of you even having any markings on it. Yeah, she was a good driver, man. I put all new steering components in this thing and everything, dude. The idle arm, pit and arm are new, the center link's new. Those were done up at Bobby's shop. So, but yeah, yeah, she was a good old car. She's still a good old car. She yeah, it'll get there again. When you ain't got, when you're a poor boy, and you ain't got a whole lot of money. You gotta do what you gotta do. <laughs> I've seen, I've seen you do some cool stuff out of nothing. If so. it, if it wasn't for you know about three to maybe four good friends of mine, man, they wouldn't be in the stage it's in. Christopher, you know, me doing stuff for him and him paying me some money. Yeah, this ain't wouldn't be done. And then Dave having a place to do it. Yeah. I, I mean, it wouldn't be this far. Well, that's like mine. Mine wouldn't be near as far as it is if it wasn't for Bobby and his back shop. Well, this ain't the whole time I've owned it. It's never been in a garage. <laughs> <laughs> it's always been... That this motor was put in right here. Yeah. I pull, pulled it in the here. It was like, I mean, it was several years ago. It was more forward up. But it was pulled in here. I had the V6 out and on the ground, and it was still warm when I had the motor out. <laughs> and then I started cleaning the engine bay on this. And then the next day, I set this motor in, and the car was driving. Huh. And that's with adapter plate and everything. Cause I had to buy a special adapter plate because it's got a Buick transmission in it. Mm -hmm. Buick bell housing. That was a uh, hundred some dollars. And then I paid like 200 for that motor used. Oh no, I have put a bore scope down in here and it's, it's motor's been bored 40 thousandths over. Just technically it's not a 250 anymore. Well, yeah. I don't know what it is, but it's 40 thousandths over. And uh, you can go 60 thousandths on these things pretty easy. That's so I heard anyway. But, yeah, it starts to get scary. <laughs> but I think, I ain't had no problems with it, man, really. I mean, other than that, it's got a cam globe trying to go. Just getting stuff together for it, piece by piece. Takes time, man. Yeah. So what kind of cam you going to put in it? Um, I ran the numbers on it. It's actually a used cam that came out of a, a motor that guy had built and uh, put it in a truck, and then the truck sat for 30-some years. But the motor locked up, so I got the block, and... I got to look and that cam was brand new. The timing gear was like brand new. 
and I'll lift it up, Ranch. I'll pull all that stuff out before I scrapped it. Huh. So I'm gonna put that in here, but I ran the numbers on it. It's I forget the numbers it said it was, but it's about a two stage over what the factory ones are. Any other upgrades or I mean nah, that's pretty much it on it, man. It's gonna just gonna be a other than the HEI, that's this motor's pretty much stock. And it's I mean it's forty thousands over. I found that out for the bore scope. But I don't think someone when they build it, I don't think they broke this cannon properly. Well, I never know. It could be idiots like me that didn't run the right kind of zinc oil. Yeah, that's, that's possible. <laughs> Uh, that's probably, I think, why the Falcon's getting tired. It's sat yeah, for who knows how many years. And well, you can, it, well, you just see it. When I fired it, it didn't put out no smoke or nothing. Oh, no. This motor's still healthy. It just, it's got one rocker arm that doesn't move the same amount as the rest of them. And I think it's got a cam lobe. It's like right here. Uh, it's either here or here. One of the rockers and all of them do this, and then one of them just barely moves. But I drove it. Put 20,000 mile on it like that, so mm -hmm. it's getting just hard to find parts, man. This is kind of a hard one to find parts for between body panels and motor. Yeah, I actually think that you probably have a harder time finding parts for this than I do with the Falcon. I got lucky when I found those back doors, man. I guess people with Falcons they know that. Fenders are scarce and hoods are scarce and bumpers and everything. So, well, the problem with these what was, they have, they keep. These, though, people these are kind of like throwaway cars, you know. They use them for when they get so many miles on them, they would use them for demolition derby or something happened to them. And old people had them and they just let them sit and rot out from the bottom. Yeah. Well, they were never, I mean, hell, it was a station wagon. You know, it was meant for all the kids. And it's a four door. If it was a two door, it might have been different. You know what I mean? But well, yeah, they made so in all many. Honesty, that's the one thing that you haven't done to this that I know. I think you probably will eventually is convert it to a two door wagon. The only reason probably I haven't and haven't shaved door handles is because of the fact of having kids. Yeah. And that's probably the only reason. If I didn't have kids, yeah, the back door handles would probably be shaved on to make it look like a two door, but it wouldn't actually be. You know what I mean? Are you feeling me now? But, uh, yeah, just a lot of labor of love, man. If I had to build a lot of stuff on this thing, too. Oh, uh, yeah, but that's the fun of it. Yeah. Throttle linkage, kick down for the transmission. I, I, yeah. When I got the Falcon, all the kick down linkage was non existent. I bought some kick down linkage, and it still wasn't quite right, so I still had to fabricate and make some stuff but it works right now i would like to find a heater box for non-ac for this because that would open a whole lot of space dude it's got a heater core distributor fuel pump starter and carburetor and wish wiper motor well i bought the rear wheels and a week later i decided i was going to run 14s on the front because i had them and i said now nah, i'm going to go 15 so these are my tires for it oh i've got the 15s Everybody's asking if I'm going to put baby moves or nothing on it. I think I'm going to leave it just like it is. I, just, I got brand new lug nuts in the back. And yeah. studs. I put long studs in the rear, too. Drag studs. What's wrong cool. with drag studs on a six banger? <laughs> <laughs> well, I put corner spacers in the rear of this. The spacing rear wheel that some tires were trying to rub. Oh, yeah. So, those are all brand new lug nuts, all brand new studs in the back of that. But I got corner spacers in the rear. He's kind of like you. Don't tell him you can't do something. <laughs> oh, dude. Her, it's going to happen. Oh, mm -hmm. Bobby down the street. That 93 GMC I had when I got hit in and it messed up the cab. Yeah. It actually pinched the cab. He said, bring it over. We'll, we'll, I'll help you fix it. I brought it over there and he goes, uh, he said, this is past mine and your skill level. Well, once he said that, I said, I'm well, going to fix even, it. Even I told you that. I fixed it. I didn't I didn't think you should have fixed that because that cab was hit. You know. I fixed it. You couldn't ever really tell it either. I, I know. It. That was a nightmare. Well, but. I'll never forget when you came over that 64 Falcon and had that dent in the quarter or in the front mm -hmm. fender. You came over and I was like, man, how long is this going to take to bond up? You were like, 
done. <laughs> I mean, you were half hour at the most. Well, a lot of people. And it like was it. great. <laughs> So everybody, I hope you liked uh, checking out Monty the Man. Uh, like I say, he's been a good friend of mine for a long time. He's helped me do a lot of stuff. The guy can actually weld fantastic. Uh, his body work skills off the chart. I've learned a lot from him and everything. If it wasn't for him teaching me what he did, my Falcon probably would not look near as good as what it does. So uh, I hope you enjoyed uh, checking out Monty the Man. Uh, if you did, Hit the little like button, wherever that's at. But, uh, you know, maybe the little bell thing or whatever. And uh, if you guys hit uh, like enough uh, and you like seeing Monty the Man, I'll go down and videotape him doing, doing whatever it is he's doing. He's got a truck that uh, we're going to do another video on. He's got a truck that's pretty interesting. Uh, considering where it came from i was with him when he bought it where it came from what it was and what it is now it's it's definitely a different truck so you'll have to see that one so stay tuned and we will get that video like i say like this video let me know what you think of monty the man we can uh we can do more videos of him so stay tuned keep track of what's going on and we will talk at you later on so until then you always remember the party starts here, and uh, Digger is out. Huh, Crystal?